Good Wednesday morning. Finally, some action in Major League Baseball locally in this offseason. It's going to drag out for many weeks and months, but you did get something that was interesting and good for the Yankees as Rizzo is back. Rizzo! Essentially a two-year deal for $20 million total. And why is that significant outside of the fact that Anthony Rizzo has been a good player for the Yankees and he's a left-handed stick and he's a leader and he's good defensively? Guess who his best buddy is on the New York Yankees? Oh, that's right. It's Aaron Judge, who, of course, we know isn't signed and is a free agent. And Hal Steinbrenner basically said, hey, you know, we're going to pay him a lot of money if he wants to come back, but there is a limit to this. The Knicks won a game after a players-only meeting, whatever that means. The Nets gave up 200 points. We've got a ton of football to talk about today. Good morning, Boomer. How are you? Oh, good morning, Jay. I'm doing all right. Um, I have to say, you know, when we have a show-only meeting, it seems like I get you guys jacked up for a couple weeks, and yeah. you react to it. Show-only I, meetings. It happen all the time. Right. Boy, when we need it. Mm-hmm. You know what? I feel like things aren't going right or the quality control is uh, lacking. Uh, but I haven't had to have one of those in a couple uh, months, maybe three to four months, and uh, you guys have been doing your job. And this is why the Knicks had their players-only meeting. They had a dinner. They went out to dinner, and, and they and they, they soul-searched. And they said, look, we got to play goddamn defense. <laughs> and uh, they basically benched Evan Fournier last night. And nobody, I, I swear, nobody thought that they were going to win the game last night. And that was, I, I would I would argue that that was their best performance of the year. Now, I haven't seen all the performances. The ones that I have watched have not been good. And last night, I wanted to watch this. I wanted to see what it looked like. And they were good. They were making their shots. They played some defense. And they only played, I think they only played nine guys in the rotation. Yeah, they're, they're not a good basketball team. This was a bright light in what is going to be, I believe, a very, very disappointing season again. I think they're stuck in the middle. They finally have a really good point guard, but their coach doesn't seem to be getting the best out of them. I don't know if he's going to last the entire season. They still have a Julius Randle problem. I did like seeing Evan Fournier being benched, but quite honestly, they they do not have my attention. They don't, and they don't deserve my attention. They had an opportunity to do something big in the offseason and actually go all in and trade for Donovan Mitchell. Uh, You could say what you want about Danny Ainge trying to fleece him. Well, sometimes you need to make that deal and take that risk to get that superstar. Donovan Mitchell would have been perfect for this place. He he thought he was going to the Knicks the entire time. Once that didn't happen, it was sort of like, all right, you know, you got to do something spectacular to get my attention. Being five and six, six and six, you know, messing around, losing games here. You win a one here, lose three. It's just not going to do it for him. It's just not. You know, where do you go from here is the question. Where do you go from here? The amazing thing about what the Knicks did last night, they beat a team that would not trade Donovan Mitchell to them. There's no way that Danny Ainge was going to trade it to Leon Rose and the Knicks unless they gave up, uh, you know, King's ransom to go get him. So uh, they go into Utah and end up beating them, which I thought was, you know, kind of like, you know, Turnaround is a turnabout is a little bit fair play there uh, for the Knicks. And it made me think about when the Washington Commanders went into Indianapolis and, and Dan Snyder was actually allowed to travel with the team, and he was in, in Indianapolis. And that was about three weeks after uh, Jim Irsay said, we got to get rid of Dan Snyder as an owner uh, of the Washington Commanders. And the Commanders beat the Indianapolis Colts that day. And then when you, when you fast forward, Jeff Saturday takes over for the Colts. Who's he going against? He's going against Josh McDaniels and the Raiders. Yeah. Now, why is that important? Well, that's important because Josh McDaniels was the coach who turned down Jim Irsay right at the last minute that ultimately led them to Frank. So this is kind of how I felt last night. Like there was a little bit of turnabout was fair play because Danny Aiden was never going to trade Donovan Mitchell to oh, the he, he would have if he got uh, that ball. No, he would have. I mean, the, the Knicks would have had to give up more picks than they wanted to and maybe R.J. Barrett. Yeah, but why? let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Why would the Knicks – have to give up more than what the Cavaliers because gave up. he didn't because I I believe that Danny Age didn't want to give in to Donovan Mitchell's mm-hmm. demands and send him to the place he wanted to go. Well, that's my point. He needed to, but he would have if the Knicks had overpaid. It's yeah. not like he wouldn't have done it. So, so all things equal, there's no way he's trading him to the Knicks because he was uh, you know. But Danny, the things weren't equal. Dan, Danny Age, but, but they uh, weren't equal. Okay. So so that's the thing. He wanted more from the Knicks. The Knicks could have done it. You know, they they turned down deals. The, the uh, Ainge turned down deals, and the Knicks ultimately decided that it was too much. Too much, and which is what exactly for the Knicks? Because they're going nowhere. I mean, they're just – this is a team that is going nowhere. Well, they got to use all these draft picks now. 
Yeah, to get who exactly? I don't know. Draft players or trade for somebody who's going to be disgruntled, which is not going to be, you know, it's not going to be great. <laughs> and and really depends well, on what I'm saying. Like, are they no- are they going to trade? I I would imagine they're going to try to trade Fournier somewhere, and they'd like to trade Julius Randle. Now they may have to attach picks to those guys to get rid of those guys. Listen, I mean, this is the problem with the NBA, and and I'm surprised that you're as into this as you are because I don't get it. The micro of the Knicks means nothing. It means nothing. Day to day, Knicks jazz last night. It's a joke. There was nothing else on. Other There's than, a joke. It's other a than, joke. It was no, there was nothing else on other than the, te- the team is a nothing team that's on a treadmill. That's all they're doing. Okay, well. They're going nowhere. They're doing nothing. The team is a nothing team right now. And they had an opportunity to capitalize on that in the offseason and didn't. So get my attention somehow. Beating the Utah Jazz last night in the middle of the night out in Utah is not doing it. Well, I'm just telling so you, I'm they're just, on this road trip now where I'll, something's uh, going to happen. We, like we, what, though? They're going to fire know. the coach? Well, if, they, if they're winning, they won't. What? If they If they're winning, they won't. But if they go out there and they lose... Then of course, then then something's going. Something's got to give. But what? Like, what is what is that? Like, so like you the the NBA, you either have a great team, or you have a terrible team, or you're stuck in NBA purgatory, and there's no room for interpretation. That's what it is. You got a shot at a championship. You are going to have a shot at the first overall pick. Or you're stuck in NBA purgatory where you're a six, seven, eight seed, maybe a five seed. You're in the play-in tournament and you do nothing, and maybe you get a home playoff game where your owner gets to pocket some cash. The Knicks are in that NBA purgatory, and and God love the fans that have stuck by them and watched these games and whatever else. And I you know I got into it when they had that great season and ended up playing the Hawks, but then they got smacked around. Came back, had a miserable year, brought in Jalen Brunson, got maybe a tiny bit better, and now they're on pace again to irrelevance. All right, so, well, all like, right, all right. like, like, what are they going to do? You're like, something's going to happen. Well, what is that? All Unless right, you I, trade I, the I, whole I, goddamn I, team and bring in good basketball <laughs> players, and maybe that's the thing that, that'll happen. But until then, they're an afterthought. They don't, they don't deserve our attention. Like, seriously, do they deserve your attention? You don't deserve my attention. I, I just, For God's well, sakes, we've got two football teams that are having winning years. We've got a free agency where maybe the biggest defection in the history of the New York Yankees is about to happen. And we're sitting here talking about how the Knicks beat the Jazz. I couldn't give two craps about that. All right. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just I – just, I, just I told watched, you before the show I, watched, I didn't care I, I, about I, it. I watched the basketball game. I'm sorry. I, I, I take but it what, back. Like, what is okay. interesting about it? Yeah, you you, you, you got to tell that, me what's yeah, interesting I, about I, it. I just go backwards. I can't start over. I, I said what I said, and I'm sorry that I set you off. I mean, I did watch part of the Devils, too, and they won 10 games in a row now. Right, okay. Well, we know that's a joke. Oh, well, that's not a joke either. They're, they're, they're the real well, deal, Well, you're man. not really going to sit here and talk about the Devils. No, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not, but I'm just going to say. Are you working you know, for SKQ? I, or, no, but I'm going to say that they actually <laughs> deserve a lot of credit for winning 10 games in a row. And right, so great. Jerry will give him credit in the update. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Guess what? Zach Wilson's got to play really good this week in order for the uh, Jets you to beat You're the, not the interested Patriots. at all in what the, the Yankees and Al Steinbrenner and Anthony Rizzo, only the New York I, Yankees, for Christ's sake. I, I, oh, and I, they spent $20 million on to bring a guy back, which yeah, was interesting. I, I thought it was good, I, and, and I'm, I'm glad they brought Rizzo back because, you know, I'm a, I, look, I like Rizzo. You like Rizzo. Rizzo can sit like on my Rizzo. face. Yeah. A lot of people like Rizzo. Yep. All right, so that's good. That's great. I'm just, I was just telling you what I did last night. I'm sorry. I really, I really am. I didn't mean to set you off. Yeah. I mean... You know, I'm not really feeling well, and uh, you're not feeling well. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Just, what do you mean? I may have a little cold or something. Oh, but great, I'm not sure. You're coming in here sick now? No. I, uh, oh, God, you so are. Wait, unbelievable. So wait, not only are you coming in here breaking down Nick's jazz, you're pissing me off. Now you got germs. I may not. I mean, it just may be a mild cold. That's all. Um, but that sounds like germs to me. Yeah. Well, I mean, you are a pain in my ass already this morning. <laughs> I mean, well, we were likewise. like 10 minutes, and I just, all I wanted to talk about was a little Knicks. I, maybe you mentioned the Devils. I know we're going to talk about Rizzo. I know we're going to talk about Aaron uh, Judge. I know we got sound from Hal yesterday at the owners' meetings. I know all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I just figured, hey, you know what? We hadn't really talked about the Knicks much. We Why felt do like, you think that is? We felt like this was going to be a road trip that may nah. lead them down a path where nah. there's going to be change. But, you know, last night, good for them. They won a game that I don't think many of us thought that they were going to win. It's kind of like the Commanders beating the Eagles the other night. You know, someone asked me about one of my neighbors the other day that just moved in. 
Yeah. And he said, how's that neighbor? I said, you know, uh, they don't really do anything. Like, I don't hear from them. Like, they don't come over or say anything. They don't do anything that annoys me. They're sort of just there. Put the, put the Adirondack how, chairs out there. Right. Come the, over. So that was like, you know what? That's how I think about the Knicks. They're not doing anything horrible. They're not doing anything great. They're sort of just there. I don't really pay attention to them. Like, they're just there. So do something to make me pay attention to you. Now, there's going to be the sycophant fans that are there. They're going to be, you know, sucking down the Knicks juice every time they play. And Nick good juice. for them. Good for there's them. No you really, know? There is really They're no They're be, Nick. like, talking about, you know, the R.J. Barrett defenders and, oh, like, let's, you know, let's kill this guy and fire Tibbs and everything else. But, I mean, like, for our purposes, where we talk about everything, like, they just, like. Uh, They're at the bottom of the page. They are. It's not my fault. It's their fault. All right, it's, let, no. me, all right let me ask you this. The fact that the Devils have won ten games in a row. Does that pass the no, Knicks? It's, no, it's no. It's does it pass the Knicks? No, yeah. it doesn't pass the Knicks. You don't want to. Yeah, okay. No, the, no. The, you don't I want mean, to give the, a team like a little bit of a pat on the back for ten in a row. No, sure. Give them a little bit of a pat on the back is fine. Yeah. You know, with Jerry's wearing just, his yeah, Devils. Just, Jerry's wearing his Devils sweatshirt. I mean, that's that's fine. Front runner. Yeah. Well, we all are. Come on, we all. Are. I mean, I know you are too. Every single one of us is in sports. Right. You know, find me the guy that. I mean, there's a few people I'm not a that front runner. Yeah, but. You canceled your season tickets when they traded away everybody. Well, I got ticked off because I wanted a, a refund or I wanted some sort of, okay. uh, uh, you know, discount for uh, to watch a you know a glorified AHL team. For there the you next go. Three so years. you were yeah. So you were upset about it. So, so that's when, when teams are bad. You get upset about it. And but then I bought thing. in. And I bought back in, and I said, okay, I could see this. You're making some good trades, hey. getting some guys in here. Bingo, bango. Then you're back in. You're yeah, out and you're in. You're out and you're in. You're in a little pendulum now. swing. Right that's what happens. Now. But you, you come in here. Yeah, with this just pissed off attitude. I, I know, know I didn't you... actually. I I was I was excited to talk about uh, some some off season baseball. We talked about the Knicks prior to the show. I said they have zero of my attention. You, that didn't register with you, and you decided to break down Knicks jazz. And I'm sitting here talking about Evan Fournier getting benched. I time and out, I just uh... and I just was I was I was floored by it. So instead of sitting there and pretending like I cared, I was honest about it. I I was not. <laughs> I was not breaking it's down not, the Knicks. Oh, I was yes. not breaking oh, them you down. Breaking that, you the players only meeting, benching Fournier. Yes, well, they, they played the Jazz, who didn't trade. You were breaking it down. There was a Knicks breakdown. There was a Knicks breakdown. Can I just hope for a little something? Just a little, I, you know, the, a little sliver of hope. No sliver, nothing. No sliver of hope. I'll tell you where the slivers of hope. Okay. I mean, all over the place with. Baseball teams and football teams. They're all over the place. There's slivers everywhere. Slivers. I mean, for more than slivers. I've got slices of hope. You got, you got big slice, big, like, big, like, large pizza slices. Damn right. Large pizza. Yes, like a big, fat half of pizza of hope. All right. Well, listen, I'm sorry that I got you off to a wrong start. I just thought... I'd, I'd let you know that I, what I was doing. That's, no, that's I know. Cool. Well, I mean, I did a whole bunch of stuff last night that wasn't interesting, but I didn't bring it up to you on the air. Yeah, but you know, what, what, like watching I, the Knicks I, is not an interesting thing. Like they're well, not it was sports. We're sports. No, guys. I know, but like so. Like, yeah, we, but we there's so many other the, options. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I know, but I'm just saying. Like, like, in, in the front of my mind was like Tibbs you just made went some to moves. you just went to the steakhouse and ordered the fish. You know, is t- what you just did. Tib- Tibbs made some moves, and I thought that was important to Tibbs talk about. Tibbs made some moves. You you just walked into Peter Luger's and ordered the soul. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And like it said, well, this is a restaurant. With this is how, what we do. We eat. Well, I would man. say, well, you had all these other options here that you could have chosen from, and you you chose the worst one. Speaking of restaurants, I ate at Babo last night. Where's Oof, that? Man, right in the West Village. Oof. That's awesome. It was really good. Yeah. Really good. At the Oso Buco. Oh, you did? Oh, yes. Did it fall off the bone? Oh, of course it did. It was what, absolutely like, great. Is it like uh, the Oso Buco that, uh, what was underneath it? Did you have like a side of pasta I had a something? risotto. Yeah, it was unbelievable. That's delicious. Went out with our boy Joe G last night. Oh, he's back from Italy. He's back from Italy. He's been gone for seven weeks. He's back and uh, hadn't seen him in a while. And, uh, you know, we were talking about, you know, Christmas gifts and stuff like that. And, you know, what was really weird. And the reason we were talking about this, he goes, hey, you know, I want to send something to the guys. Mm -hmm. Because every year he sends something to you guys. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. And he goes, the only guy I haven't heard back from was Jerry Recco. Like, Jerry Recco doesn't say thank you for anything. I well, said, well I, I, I told myself, look, Jerry tends to be more miserable for whatever reason, and you know, don't you're not really going to impress him, so don't yeah. don't get upset about it. Well, I ran into this problem too, but it wasn't my fault. So you had I, a, you, you had a, you had a uh, address change. Yeah, 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 and he knew that, right? So and I apologized to him, and I thanked him, and everything else after yeah. that, so he yeah. understood. So Jerry just flat out just stiffed him with the apology. Or with the Eddie thank got back. Eddie fake got news, back. Fake news. 
Well, look at that. Jerry's got receipts. Well, that's what he said last night. Jerry's got receipts. You got receipts? He's got receipts. I'm keeping your ass's receipts. Fake news. <laughs> All right, what does it say? Just it tell me says, what it says. Hey, Joe Recco here. Thank you for blah, 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 blah. Very much appreciated. You sure got the right holidays. number? You got the right number? You gave me the number. I did, okay. So fake news. Sad. Right. Well, sad. He's sad. Going to see the number. I didn't say it. He said it. Well, you gave me the number. Uh, All right. So which one of you guys did the number there? Let me just make I'm a sure big he thank gave you the guys, right number. So I thanked them. You did. Sure. What, how about you, Eddie? Yes, sir. I, I figured Eddie. Eddie always thanks everybody. Yeah, it's the right number. All right, okay. Yeah. I apologize. Well, you didn't hear from who? I didn't hear from Joe G. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's his fault. Yes. All right. Well, then it's his fault then. Not my fault. Oh, okay. Baby. Yeah. Well, you're firing people up today, huh? I am. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus, God, have we have here for 20 minutes, and man, everybody's all pissed off around here. By the way, you, remember you said what's... you wanted that red light back on my microphone? Yes. Well, here it is, right? <laughs> 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 it's down here, and it's on. What the hell is this? Look at that. There you I go. mean, what is Marty Mart doing? Does it go huh? on and off with your mic? Yes. <laughs> what is Just Marty Mart doing? On the desk. <laughs> it's, I, I think I. It's yeah. I'm going to. It's just there's wires here. That's a problem. But yeah, there you go. So now you know. <laughs> now you know if the mic is on or not. Look at this. Yes. Yeah. Well, like I told you, I have uh, one earpiece in, and the ear that is facing you does not have the earpiece in, so I can hear you and. You know, an actual sound, so yeah. I can't tell whether or not you're talking into the microphone or I'm talking to you, just listening to you. Because you have two earpieces in. You yeah. have a full headset in. Yep. Do you think I should use a full headset? Yeah, I think you should. Why? <laughs> oh, well, my mic wasn't on there. I was testing it out. Because we're in radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. TV guys get used to the one thing. Radio guys need to have the, the double cans. Yeah. A little double can situation. I'm, so a big do, I'm a big double can guy. Don't you think like the one ear will have will affect your hearing later in life? Like one ear will be a little off? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. At this point, who cares? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just let it go. Who cares? I had the Asabuco. I watched the Knicks. I don't care about oh, my hearing. Oh, man, it was great. And a little Devils last night, so, yeah. All right, Boomer and G. I'm not a fan. Devils fan, but I had to check on it. I had to do a little scouting last night. At CBS Sports Network, free Odyssey app. Jerry Racco is going to break down all that stuff for you. What is this? New beds. New beds? Yeah. Re- by request of Spike Eskin? No. By Al Dukes? Not exactly. Not exactly. I'll go with the new beds by Spike. I'll All right, we'll talk uh, about this in the here. break. Yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily know that I like this. Do you? No, but well, I'm so used to the other stuff. I know. Yeah, we'll see if you like them and whatever. All right.